Welcome to episode six. We hope you enjoyed episode five. Let's not mess around, let's get into it. As always, we start with our warm up. This time, Miri's showing us some things that you can do. Playing with the ball, doing various things, like we talked about, doing some toe taps, moving a board backwards, inside of the feet, some rollovers, getting a couple of good turns in, and then always finishing off, just mix it up. Mix it up, play with the ball, have fun. That's our warm up. First touch. In this activity, what we've done is we've created three cones which act as defender. Because what we're trying to look at is being able to get a nice touch away from that defender that is behind you, creating space for yourself. We start off inside of the feet. So we can see Benji here sets himself up, nice touch inside of the foot, gets away from the cones, hence the defender. Quality touches, Benji. We progress there with the outside of the foot. Same concept, but now we look to touch the ball using the outside of foot. Always right and left feet. Fantastic work. And the final progression is, can we do a turn? Oh, I don't even know if there's a name for this, but gee, it looks impressive. Right and left foot as we turn, placing the ball on top of the foot, a quick turn, great way to get away from defenders. Benji, can you tell our viewers, our audience, how is the appropriate way to talk to refs, be disciplined, and avoid getting cards? It's one rule. That's it. Try that's, it a, that's the way it's done. Heard it from our senior player, Benji. Because he never gets any cards. He's always disciplined and never talks back to ref. Just ask all the other players. Running with the ball. So this is an activity. What we've done is to try and use as much space as you can to spread the cones out. And what we're doing is running with the ball and getting further and further away. With the objective is to increase your speed. So you're running with the ball at speed, going around, back to the start cone. Open it up, run with the ball. So it's about keeping control of the ball because you're running a longer distance. So Miri's doing a great job Nice touches, nice control of the ball as she runs around all the cones. Then we can go to the left foot. All right, same thing, left foot, there we go. Good recovery. Round the cones. All the way through, and then we're back. So we've progressed this drill by moving the cones, creating an angle. So now same concept, running around each one, opening up, keep control of the ball, get around each cone, but this time use both feet. Here we go, last one. Let's go Miri, let's get around that last cone. Could even look to increase the pace. That's running with the ball. Striking the ball. In this activity, it's just about striking the ball using the front of the foot, so as you can see with Benji, nice and controlled, using the laces, knee comes up nice and high as he strikes the ball back to Miri, nice and clean. Then we can move to the inside of the feet. Good control, good balance. Notice the knee comes up nice and high to keep that control. It's not missing anything here, Benji. And a little progression, you start to do it on the move. So use the square, either side. Now we start to challenge ourselves a bit more because we're on the move, but still trying to keep control of the ball by striking it nicely to our parent on an ongoing basis. Striking the ball. For our 1v1, this is a great one to get yourself out of trouble when you are faced with another opponent that is close to you. It involves dribbling towards and then putting your foot on top of the ball and then a quick turn with the other foot. These are just words. Let's see how it's done. Nice work, Miri.
foot on top, and then a nice little turn with the other, the foot. Here we go, touch, and great little turn. Anyone else seeing what I'm seeing? Because that's quality. Top of the ball, turn with the other foot, and away we go. And that's it for episode six. Again, work on the skills, enjoy them, have fun. Make sure you get out there with your parents and continue to play football.